broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome, everybody. This is Kevin Seif to the Scribble meeting. Welcome, Scribblers. Glad to have you aboard tonight. I hope everybody can hear me okay. Just give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. It is Tuesday, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that good stuff to everybody. New Year's coming about us. It's going to be a great year, 2023. Oof, it's going to be really good. If you guys can hear me, just give me a thumbs up. That would be great. We're going to get started here in a little bit as usual. Thank you, Kashiki. I appreciate it. We're going to get started here in just a little bit. Welcome, welcome. This is the um, final webinar for the year and probably the final webinar for Scribble for myself. So it's been a lot of fun, you guys, a lot of fun. We've done a lot of webinars straight through. We've done dozens upon dozens upon dozens of webinars. It's been wonderful. I really appreciate Adil and the team for all the, um, uh, the, the you know, they, they did a great job at bringing what I needed. And I'm really happy that we had such a great time with it. Um, so, you know, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So we're going to, uh, this next year, like I said, is going to be great. I have a lot of things going on myself. And I really feel that Scribble is such a great, great tool. It truly is. I mean, the tool is three to four years old, and it's still a dominant tool. And I've said this, and I'll say this again, presenter is even that much better. It, it is grander in many ways because it has a lot of other things. But Scribble does have some things Presenter doesn't have. And I've used them both quite a bit, actually. Uh, still making money with them, man. Still making money. So it's a lot of fun. So we all enjoy making and earning an income, which is great. And the collaboration, we're going to get, we're going to see what we're going to be able to do with that. I want you guys to continue with it. Um, and I'm going to talk to the team to see exactly how we're going to be able to handle that because you guys have been working on this for a long, long time. So we're going to continue it one way or another. We're going to make sure. Even if I'm not doing the webinars, we're probably going to get in there and still collaborate and still be able to do this book because, because I'm in Scribble all the time and we need to just keep going with it. So I think it's going to be great. I hope you guys, um, I learned a lot from you. And, and everybody else, as much as you probably learned from me, I'm sure, we have a lot of good team members within the group, wonderful team members. I mean, a lot of them that are just very, very, um, how can I say it, educated, smart, all the above. You guys are really, really, really good. And it's the first time in all my years, and I've had a lot of webinars and a lot of teams, tens of thousands of people through the year, but we've never been able to collaborate like we did here. So the record's been broken. You guys have done a sensational, sensational job. Now, I do want to say within the collaboration here, it's so big that Lynn actually broke it up to, into several volumes. It's volume one and volume two. So th this is great because the book, it's so big, it's having a hard time loading. So <laughs> that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. So we're happy to see that. And uh, there's going to be so much more going forward here. So we, none of us know what's going to go on in the new year. I think Adil has his, uh, you know, his brain cap on. He's going to figure something out. He always does. And he's going to bring something about, um, or, or, you know, maybe he'll have a new trainer in here or whatever, I'm sure. But whatever it is, I'm sure it will be very, very good. It truly will be. Okay, we're going to give it a few more minutes yet. It's still early, 6.05. We're going to keep it going. Hope everybody's having a good week. New Year's. This is such a great week. It truly is. I love this week. We get a lot of time off. I try to stay home as much as I possibly can, which is great. And um, just do what we can. I always love the holidays. I truly do. I hope everybody had a great holiday, great Christmas. Um, you know, I wonder who broke the record for being as cold. Florida was cold. It was the coldest Christmas we have had for years and years. Cold for us is nothing like a lot of you, I'm sure. And I know some of the people in California, they don't get the cold either. But we had, we were in the 30s. Imagine that. 
for Floridians, that is like the world just came to an end. 30 degrees. That that is impossible. And I know a lot of you probably had zero in the teens, minus 10, all that good stuff. So I don't want it. I really don't. I mi- I do miss it once in a great while because I am from the North Country. I was born and raised way up north. So I am very used to uh, having brutal cold, cold. Oh, it's been in the teens. Ooh, boy, that is somebody's just telling me it's been in the teens and 20 during the day. Couldn't imagine that. I've been in Florida too long. You know, really. I think the coldest I've ever seen it is I was up in the I was uh, um, up in the Arctic Circle, actually, years ago. And I saw it around 60, 65 below zero. And that was cold enough. That told me pretty much this is not the place to be. So, you know, I I was only up there for a trip, but it was a lot of fun and uh, very, very cold. Okay, we got a few more minutes. We're going to get started here. But like I said, this is the last webinar for me. I do thank all of you for being part of this. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, the, the, the collaboration has been something that I will definitely hold dear to my heart. You guys have all done a really good job. And it will continue on. This is just the beginning, believe me. After seeing what we did here, it's just the beginning. So a lot of you are going to do very well. Um, If you're still having issues with launching your first product, making some money, well, then we got to get you fired up. We got to get you guys going. And one thing I do want to tell you guys is just remember, when you're doing programming it is you're you're inventing. You truly are inventing when you're doing your your ebooks and you're doing your presentations and you're doing your how to. And being a programmer for all these years, you know, I I I was a programmer for many many years. I went away for a couple of years and came back. But I do have to tell you, each one of us, we really are programmers within ourselves. You guys are programming scripts to write the books. You're programming yourself to be able to write the books. So just kind of understand that you're actually, you know, in a way you're, you're, you're programming, you're, you're kind of like a piece of software. You really do dig in and you can change the software for whatever you're doing. If you don't like your book, if you don't like the way you're, you're presenting it, change it. And that's what we do in software. We just easily go back to the drawing board and change it. And that's kind of the same way in life. If you're up, you're down. Change what you're doing. You can easily change anything. Just know that, and you can go back to the drawing board. I do it all the time, you guys. I mean, I do a lot of presentations. I do a lot of systems and different things like that. And I'll do a bunch of them. Then I'll go back. I'll I'll let it go for about a week or so, and I'll go back to it, and I'll start drilling in again. And there's a lot of it that I'll change, but there's a lot of it that I'll also keep. And you learn from that. You you truly do. So I just really want you guys to dig in and just know that, you know, if you can do a first draft and get through it, that's wonderful. I do a lot of first drafts and they do they do well, but I do more second and third drafts because I'm always adding to the mix. And anymore, when I do a lot of different presentations and things like that, after I hear them or if I hear myself and I go back and I'm doing a, a screen capture or, you know, whatever I'm doing, many times I'll go back and change it up or add to it or do whatever. But you have to get to the point where when you finally write something, even if you don't like it, sometimes let it go. Go on to the next chapter, go on to the next ebook, do whatever you're doing. Just go to the next uh, level. Don't just sit there and, and drive yourself crazy because many times You'll do something really good, but you're so particular on something, you'll go back and change it up and make it worse. So try and just keep just just keep it going. Even if it's good, bad, or ugly, just keep writing chapters. Quantity is, you know, quality is better than quantity, but you need quantity to learn how to write or to learn how to advertise or whatever you're doing. The more you do, the more you're going to learn. And as as I've always said, if you put in eight hours a day, you're going to make eight hours worth of money. If you put in 15 hours a day, you're going to make 10 times the money. And that's always true. It truly is true. I mean, I put, um, you know, some days very little and some days I just, you know, I work those 18 hour days, but it's very productive. Uh, Just recently this month, I I think I showed you guys, I made another uh, three grand and that's only part of it. I made a couple other sales also that I didn't bring to the table. But it's been a very good month. And and this is me being lazy. Actually, I just did these because 
Um, I actually spoke to the people. I kind of let it drag on. And then all of a sudden I landed it and I finished it off in just a, a few days. It actually took a week, but it wasn't a week's worth of work. It was only a few days worth of work, but it took me a week to finalize everything, get some of the information from the clients and different things like that. And I used my same blueprint to do it. So if a lot of you are actually um, doing, you know, doing an, a, a, a presentation or a book or whatever, just get your data together and get your blueprint together. If you're writing a book, you don't have to do some of the things that I do. Like I go out and I get someone a YouTube account and I'll get them a Gmail account and I'll help them do a video and this and that. And so easy. And you think, oh, yeah, easy for you. It truly is easy. And with the training, I hope you guys can go back to the Scribble webinars and you guys can go back and look at some of the past dates and things like that. And we did a lot of training. We showed you guys a lot of what we have done in the past and um, it worked. It worked very, very well. So make sure that you guys go back to some of those webinars on Scribble and see what you what you can possibly do. It really is, you know, it, it is something that you guys need to do. Okay, I'm going to go through some of the questions. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. I, I like the one where it says, I don't know how to send a thumbs up, but thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, okay, and, and Lynn will be there to help you guys with the ghost agenda. If I'm not there right away, you guys just, you guys know where to go. You can go to the Gmail account and I'm going to keep track of it too. Don't think I'm just going to go off and do it. And um, I'll be there for you too. So don't, don't worry about that. You guys know that I'll be there and um, you know, we'll make sure that we, we, we aren't going to leave you hanging. Let's put it that way. That, that would be the wrong thing to do. And we don't want to do that. Um, and we wouldn't do that. Okay, I'm still looking at some of the questions. Let me see. Okay, as you guys can see, the ghost agenda is, you know, it's huge now. I mean, to have a volume one and volume two, 250 plus pages and everything else, if you're not part of it, be part of it. Still send the email to scribblebookteam at gmail.com and either myself or Lynn, probably Lynn will jump in there, say hello, and you guys can still use the system and get in there and collaborate, of course. Like I said, we just won't have the webinars going forward for Scribble, um, but you will still be able to collaborate and communicate, you know, through via email. That, that'll be the best way possible. Um, can I ask a question with everybody? Who is all on with all the people that we have on, who who is actually on the collaboration? Just give me a yes or a no if you guys can, because I can't tell if everybody's on there. Yeah, I know you are, Tracy. Yes, okay. Who else? Who else? Just let me know. Just give me a yes or a no if you're part of it. That would be great. We kind of want to get a, a pulse of who's actually on. Okay, let me see. I've got so many screens up here. I'm trying to get everything together. And I'd like to, um, okay, so you're not on it. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. We get some more yeses. Yes, yes, yes. If you're not on it, that's fine. And if you are on it, remember, it's scribblebookteam at gmail.com if you want to be part of it. That's great. Um, like I said, Lynn will probably be there to help you guys out also. No doubt about it. And uh, we're going to go from there. So we'll just keep you guys going. It's been a great year, I got to admit. I mean, use, utilizing the software has been very, very profitable. Over 20K that I've earned just as a side hustle doing this. Now, if I did this full time, oh my, my, I'd have a lot more fun. But of course, I have my other businesses and my other jobs. But I truly like the software. And I'm doing some things right now that kind of behind the scenes myself. Um, like I said, I've been programming for many, many years. And... Um, it's it's it has been very profitable for, profitable for me, um, you know, throughout the years. Very profitable. So, you know, we're going to continue on with that. I've got my hands in so many different things that, um, it's for me. It's kind of nice that I I have the capability to do a dozen different things and earn an income. And I've actually found the holy grail in some aspects. And as I go forward, I hope to see you guys. In the future here, you're going to find me just, you know, you're going to, if you, if you need to find me, you're going to be able to find me. Like I said, this is not my, this is uh, a deals business. I can't solicit anybody here. Uh, wouldn't be the right thing to do. 
um, to go forward and do stuff, stuff like that. But you're going to be able to find me one way or another. There's no doubt about it. But I did find something that works very, very well. And I found a, a kind of a glitch in the system that I'm going to show people how to utilize that um, to, to, to be, you know, much better online. And one of the things I have to tell you is Scribble is involved in it. Presenter is involved in part in part of this stuff. So as as you guys go forward, just know that Scribble and Presenter, in my opinion, are some of the best programs out there. And if you're not marketing and selling this, if you're part of it, get your darn affiliate link and get out there and market it. It, it is really that good. So get out there and earn some extra cash. Why not? You know, try to try to do as much as you possibly can. I think the biggest problem is with most people, and I've seen this year, is just your is the organization and being out there by yourself alone, you know, trying to get things done. People need somebody to you need someone to hit back and forth with. It's all about going back and forth. It truly is. If I didn't have people that I could re rely on, um, it becomes difficult sometimes because who do you? ask, hey, is this does this look good? Is this okay? And if you're all by yourself, it does slow you down just a little bit. So truly, it's it is truly nice when you're out there working that you have someone you can you can use as a sounding board. And sometimes you're the coach of the next person and, or a couple people. And then all of a sudden you meet somebody who's just as good as you or better that you start learning from them and vice versa. And you both have different, you know, aspects that are that are very promising that you can work together and it gets bigger and bigger. I've met a lot of people throughout the years that have helped me team up and different things. And actually I found people that we've made millions for finding the right people to work with. Truly I have. And I found several different sets throughout my career of different people that I've teamed up with that we've done phenomenal, truly phenomenal. But don't think that, you know, you, you have to do that. Most of the time, work for yourself and get everything going on your own. You can team up if you feel you need that, but it's not a necessity. I'm just saying that sometimes it works, but don't think you have to do that all the time. It's really better that you try to be independent and be a bull in a china shop. Don't ever think that you can't do anything. You can do anything. And like I said earlier, reprogram yourself. Truly reprogram yourself. If you guys aren't doing anything or making money, then it's because you're at a stop sign and you don't know where the you don't know where the gas pedal is to go forward. And we need to, you know, truly you need help on getting to the next to the next road or getting through that stop sign. And that's the biggest thing. And Scribble, of course, helps you do that. But like any system on the planet, even though you write the ebook or you're writing the presentation, you got to know how to get it out there and sell it. Nothing happens just for magic because someone tells you, hey, you need this product and you're going to make millions. You're not. You've got to promote it. And there's a lot of different ways to promote your business. Some of them are actually free. I've had some really good luck with some promotional things that I've done lately that are actually free. Do you have to put some work into it? Yes, you do but they do work. And once you get a, a, a momentum going on whatever project you're doing, at times it's unstoppable. If you really got something that no one else has, you will become unstoppable. And remember that, try to do something that no one's done. Try to, if you're gonna write a story, write a story that's so bizarre that no one else has done it. If you're gonna do a presentation, do it so well and add features to it that no one else would do that the business or the book or whatever you're doing is just a home run and, and make sure you guys do that. I don't know if any of you have seen, um, there's a new, and, and this reminds me of writing a book in Scribble. There's a new series on Netflix. And it's called White Lotus. Now, I would have never watched this show. Is it twisted? Twisted as hell. It truly is. But it is, it makes you think. Is it perfect? No, it has some, you know, it, it was written from somebody who I liked it because you didn't know what was going to go on. And I always like stories that you can't figure out because most of the time you can figure a story out. But when you see a story you can't figure out, it's pretty cool. Now, like I said, it's a twisted story. And sometimes you just kind of shake your head and go, oh, my, my. But they had some parts in it that were very, very well written. So, you know, 
when when you see something like that or you see a story, take from it and give it a new twist, give it a new idea and run with it, you guys. Truly get out there and do it. Um, and oh, great, Yvonne. I'm glad you're part of it. And I'm sure it's late there. It's real late for you, Yvonne. I know you're traveling, but that's great. I'm glad you're actually on the phones listening to us as we're doing this. So that's great. That is truly, truly wonderful. Um, and is there any questions from you guys as we go forward here? Because I did want to show you here tonight what we have done with the with the collaboration. Um, the book will stay here. It'll be in Scribble, still going to collaborate, still going to go forward. And we're going to wait and find out exactly what um, is going to go on with Scribble going forward. I'm not sure if they're going to still have webinars or they're going to they're going to bring in. Um, you know, maybe something with presenter or they're going to automate the system. I've been kind of wondering how they're going to actually do it. I know you can never replace a live webinar. You really, truly can't. And you have to have people that can answer questions and different things like that. And it really does help out because I know a lot of you are doing very, very well. And I know a lot of you are stuck. So whatever we can actually do uh, to help you out, uh, you're going to have to ask us tonight because here we are. Now, most of you know how to do the system, I'm sure. Last week, I walked through it, and we show you how to do the editor. You go in there and you pick a template, fantastic templates within Scribble, and you just want to get in there and start editing and doing things. Um, you know, I wish I had more time to show you guys some of the things that I've done, creating some of the different eBooks and some of the different flip books and you know, using a lot of the tools. There's a lot of the tools that I've used that I've actually not um, shown everybody here. But it's been, you know, it's been something that uh, there's times when I use so many tools that I can't, sh I, I don't have enough time to show everybody exactly what I am doing um, going forward. But I do want to show you, I'm going to go into the volume two here real quick. And then we're going to jump over to the other um, another scribble that I have, because I do want to show you guys something before we leave tonight. But you guys can see all the things that we put together here. The member list, the Ghost Agenda sign-up sheet, the rules, how the Scribble Writing Group works, how to create your book. Use some of these things for what you're going to do in the future. And remember, you're going to make more money off the system than in the system. And when I say that, what I mean is if you're going to do a presentation, you're going to make more money than just, you know, than always being in the system and not doing anything outside the box. So it's it's really your goal to do something so good that you guys can get it out to the masses and show other people your expertise. Show them what you've done. Like I said, we've had we have some people in the group that have written some fabulous books and they have more power than they know. Sometimes I think they don't really realize how good they are. And what if I was their manager, I'd kind of promote them and show them exactly what I think they should do um, to promote themselves and get out there because they're so talented. So my hat's off. I've met a lot of people in this group that are very, very talented. Most of you from being here, you guys are way above the grade because you chose something that's educational. You chose something that's not simple. And you chose something that you need to think. And that's, you know, that that's that's a first class person right there in my book. So if I had to uh, choose leads from many companies, I would choose one that's similar to this. I, I would want the people from a group like this compared to other businesses out there. I mean, people that sure you can go out and learn how to email market and you can do this and you can do that. But people that are writing books they definitely have to put a lot of thought into whatever they're doing to make it work. If anybody has a question and they're stuck on something, trying to write a book or you're in a in a quandary, let me know right now and maybe we could help you out. If you guys have any questions or you're stuck on something or you need help, uh, this is the this is it. This is the night. So if you have any questions, please bring them to us and we'll help you out as much as we possibly can. If I have to bring someone else on that I don't. Uh, if I can't answer the question, I'll be there for you. So make sure that you guys, um, you know, you guys ask anything you can possibly here. Got a lot of people coming aboard here still. Uh, like I said, this is Kevin Sipe. 
And this is our final night for training on Scribble for 2022. We don't know what 2023 is going to bring, so you never know. But you guys are, I'm sure you're still going to have training going forward. So just hang in there and make sure that you guys, um, you know, watch your emails. Make sure of that because I know, I know a deal will never, ever stop. The guy doesn't sleep. The guy doesn't, uh, you know, I, he just never stops. He's always thinking. He's always sending out emails about this and that. And you guys see that. I know you do because I do. I just don't have enough time to get on all the meetings and different things that he has because I'm constantly moving and constantly running myself. And I do I do a lot of different things. I fly around the country. I consult here, I work here. I work for several different countries. I work for China. I work for a deal on the team out of London. And I work for a lot of companies out of the U.S. And I've got several more that I'm dealing with. I do a lot of work in South America also, and I don't think I've ever told you guys that, but I've um, actually lived in South America for several years in several countries down there doing this, doing online businesses. And um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun setting up different businesses and um, helping people out. But that's another day. That is another day. How can I personally design? Okay. How can I personally design a cover? Okay. What you'll need to do is that you can go in and you can pick one of the templates in here. And if you have like Fantasia or you have the Prime, you know, there's a lot of good templates and a lot of pages and you can take from those. Now, if you don't like it perfect as it comes out of the box, so to speak, you can add images to some of the templates. You can add any image that you want and you can make it what you want. So if you really need to design a cover, that's pretty easy actually, but I'm glad you asked the question. Someone just asked the question, how can I use a personally designed cover? Now, if, you're, if you've already made the cover, Liz, um, let, me, let me ask you that. Did you make the cover or are you trying to make a cover? How can I use a personally designed cover? Um, if you can give me any more information on that, that would be great. There's a lot of answers to that question. Um, you made it. Okay. And you're trying to... Are you trying to fit your cover into a story, basically? Is that what you're trying to do? Let me know. You made it? Okay. And what are you trying to do? Okay. How can I personally? Okay. If you designed a cover, and, and what is, what's the niche, if you don't mind me asking, that you designed the cover around? Is there a niche? Let me see. No, it's, oh, it's for a coloring book. Oh, very cool. So I'm sure it's a very vivid, a very vivid book or cover, I should say. How can I personally, okay. So you made it and you just want, now you want to wrap a book around it, basically. Is that basically what you're trying to do? Because if you're trying to do that, that should be pretty easy to kind of do, I would think. If you got a coloring book and you did a great cover, it, there's probably a niche around your cover, I'm sure. Am I correct? No, there's not. Okay, so you just got the cover so far. Okay, I, I wish I had the time to look at it and see exactly. Well, what you can do is if you designed a cover for a coloring book, okay, do you wanna, do you wanna really, do you wanna get the, the coloring book completed and use your cover for it? I mean, of, of course, that's probably the end result, I'm sure, or do you need help with the coloring book? Because there's so much more you can do with it. There really is. Okay, yeah, there somebody else is saying something here. Yeah, if you made a if you made a coloring book and you have the cover, then you need to dig into the to the um to the knit or or you need to outline your coloring book around that cover. So you need to kind of write down exactly how the what the coloring what your design looks like, what you're doing, and then you need to put together a couple chapters of your coloring book and then fly with it from there. 
um, if we could dig in and, and see it. Like I said, we don't have enough time tonight, but um, if you can go to scribblebookteam at gmail.com and ask that question, I'm sure somebody there will help you along list. We try as much as we possibly can. We can't answer every question, but we certainly try to. We certainly try to help everybody out. Oh, the book is all ready. Okay, so we'll try to, um, okay, so you're going to try and see. Okay, hang on one second. Trying to answer here. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see the book. So we'll have you send it to us, and we will definitely look at it. That's a great, that's a great thing, you guys. Great thing. You guys have all done a really, really good job this year. You truly have. And I know Tracy. Tracy's on the line. She sent us something, and she's helped us out this year. We've done a couple of the webinars around Tracy's brain. And Tracy had some fab Her last story was fabulous about the Pirates of Los Angeles and around that. True story and a lot of different things within it. But wonderfully written, vivid. I, I loved it. I loved it. So, you know, my hat's off to to Tracy also, as much as Lynn, Lynn has been my right hand and my left hand most of the time, which has been really, really great. Okay, so let me see other people asking questions. Okay, that is great. Okay, yeah, and people will be there to help you out. Design a cover, okay, in Canva. Get it in as a replacement for the one of the template. Okay. Yeah. Canva's great. I don't know if you guys have, uh, who's ever used Canva. I have Canva. Canva is wow. That's all I can say. If you want to do logos and different things like that, Canva's the bomb. It truly is. I'm going to ask that question. Who in the group has used Canva? Ooh, not many. Okay. Okay. Ooh, keep going, baby. Keep going. Okay, a few of you. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, Canva's cool. There's so many tools out there. I keep saying my number one tool, Snagit, because it lets me do screen capture, and it lets me do video capture, and then it lets me size it and lets me play around and do all that good stuff because a lot of the stuff that you guys may want to look at eventually is doing screen capture with your voice. And you don't have to have your video of yourself. You can just have your voice going and you can record the screen like I'm doing here. Here's my mouth and I'm talking and I'm saying, go here, click on this. Those videos are really good for courses if you guys are looking at doing courses. Now, courses are tricky. There's a million and one different systems out there that show you how to do courses. But a lot of them don't really detail how you should actually do a course. And I get frustrated because there's a lot of software out there and, you know, they, they show it as being the best and this and that. And most of it doesn't have it, doesn't have that, that, that mojo, so to speak. It really doesn't. So you've got to find something that's easy but formats it correctly. I've done so many different courses and so many different web pages that sometimes when I see these course books, they're, it's ugly. I mean, I just purchased a, a piece of software and it was supposed to do my courses and throw the keywords and all that stuff. And as far as I'm concerned, it was garbage. It truly was garbage. It was it was written by, uh, I, I don't want to say it, it was just written by a programmer that's trying to sell everything under the sun, you know, an idea here, an idea there. After buying that one piece of software, I will second guess ever buying another piece of software from this from this software person that I that I bought it from. Whereas like with the deal, I bought Scribble, I got Presenter, I got a lot of other programs, solid. I have to say a deal stuff is very, very solid. And I appreciate that. And I'm not looking at a deal like, oh, he's the greatest. If his software sucked, I wouldn't use it. I truly wouldn't use it because I'd lose money. But it, that's not the case. It truly does work. And it saves and it and it's fast and and I do appreciate that because being a programmer, when I see something that doesn't work and it continuously doesn't work, if you guys buy software in the future and you have issues, get to the to the support. If the support's not there, make sure you test the software within the first week. And if you don't like it, get your darn refund. I get so frustrated when you 
let it go for months and months, then you think, God, this thing never worked and you paid for it. Try to, if you ever buy software, make sure you use it for a week. And if it doesn't, everything doesn't work correctly, then get your money back. I mean, that happens to me every so often. Um, but then you find somebody like a deal with some of the better software out there and you stick with it. Like a lot of a deal stuff I would stick with just because it works. And so I'm kind of hanging. That's a big thing for me. Uh, you know, there's other ones that may have more bells and whistles and this and that. But if they don't work, they don't work and they're useless. So you don't need anything like that. You don't need something silly as you go forward. OK, so we have this. Now I'm going to log out. You guys have can see all this different stuff that Lynn has put together. We have volume one and volume two. Um, Lynn, is there anything you want me to tell people to to show here before I dig into something else? Okay, let me see. Yeah, this is okay. If there's anything else, Lynn, you wanna tell people because this is our last webinar. So we wanna make sure we let people know what's going on. This will not be my last webinar. This will be the last webinar for Scribble. So, um, and, and I've done my time with Scribble. I love it, love it, love it. It's just when you, when you go through so many classes week after week, um, the software is great. It's just, I've done my time here and someone else can come in and take over. And I'm really happy to see that. I've, I've loved Scribble. It's been my best friend. I've made a lot of money from it. Okay, so if there's nothing else, let me jump into, I'm going to jump into another one. So hang on a second. I'm going to log out. I've got several different scribbles, I think, here. Let me see. I'm going to jump in again. See what I got. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate it. I showed you guys most of it. I think we did. Let me see the projects here. And one thing you guys really want to look at is this is my system. And I used a lot of this for training. And the Book of Armor, I brought this in several times. I just use this because I called it the Book of Armor because I don't want I, I want you guys to have your 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 own armor. And that's why I named it that. I want you never to take anything personally or seriously. Go forward. Go forward without an I don't want to say don't have an ego, but don't have such an ego where you don't continue on. Um, I never think too much when I do something. I just do it. If I think too hard, I get in trouble, and then I never get anything done. So if you can go to the uh, if you can go to the Scribble YouTube channel, I do have video after video of this. We did several webinars on this, and I detailed exactly how to use the editing tools and different things like that. So if you see this cover or you go back, and this this goes back for all through the this past year, you guys. So you really want to get into there. Of course, how I made 10K, I did make 10K on a book. On one book, I made 10K. And it's kind of, people are like, yeah, right, I did, I did. God, I feel like a home run on that one. And it was really nothing. It really wasn't. It was just a book on different formulas for different things that I have. Very boring, but hey. The company bought it. They needed it. And it was a priority for them to light it up and do what they needed to do. So I sold it to them at the right time. Um, then here we got this one. Let me see. Okay. Then we have monetize. I wrote I wrote several here. Of course, I made a 1,027. This was the one that was the most brought up, the 2,700. That was my first one. And I did that within four days. Another one, how to create your ebook in 60 minutes. You can do it. You can do it in 60 minutes. People, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm also an engineer and I can invent something. This is something that I've done within a 24 hour period. I can invent and get things out there and get products going. And I do. And I use software programmers and other engineers to help me out when I get stuck. We develop products very quickly. Believe it or not, we do. And we can do it within 24 hours. Now that sometimes you hit the home run and you get the product and it's wonderful. And we prototype it and we get it out there. We 3D print it and we prototype it. And then we have to write content around it. So I'll use Scribble or Presenter and I'll do my presentation with the product. And, you know, I'll do some banners and things like that. And I can use these tools to do that, believe it or not, because they're, they are so vivid. But a lot of times I can create something very quickly. And then if it needs a, a, an upgrade or it needs a change, the way we do things, we can do it very, very quickly. And it's so cheap 
nowadays. I mean, in the past, it cost us tens of thousands of dollars to create products and do different things. Now it's pennies and we have methods for this. And, 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 um, it's just wonderful. So a lot of times I will use the systems to help me market a product. Now you haven't seen what I've done lately. Um, I have them kind of buried, kind of hidden, but I'm doing some really cool stuff right now. And we're in the development mode for me. I always think of all of us as inventors. I truly do. You're an inventor. I'm an inventor. If you invent an ebook or you write a book, you're an inventor. If you're, um, thinking of something and you put it down on paper, you're, you're inventing something. If you, if you create a product, you're an inventor. So just think of yourself as somebody who's, you're an entrepreneur. So keep writing, keep pushing, keep doing. If I can do this book after book after book, um, you guys should be able to, too. Now, a lot of these I made in Scribble. My newer books that I'm selling are actually in Presenter. I'm using Presenter and some of the tools just to kind of get used to it and seeing what's going on. And we're in Scribble right now. And I know this is a Scribble meeting, but I have to tell you, if you don't have Presenter, go get it. Go get Presenter. It is amazing, amazing tool. And like right here, I had a life training, uh, the ghost conspiracy. This was the very first, you know, part of it where we first started it. This was seven months ago. This is what that. So that's how long we've been working on the ghost agenda is seven months. And then I've worked for other companies here and helped them out. And here's another thousand I made on another company. I do have to tell you something too. This is amazing. I've actually used some of these books and just, I copied them. I did a duplicate, changed the wording, changed the pictures and made thousands from using the same book. So you guys should be able to do it also. You really should be able to do it yourself. So make sure that you guys, um, do that because you guys should be able to do so much just by copying everything that you possibly can from a previous book. And I've done it over and over again. I think I did it three times with some of the books in here. So you guys should be able to do it too. So just make sure that you guys utilize your time as best as you possibly can. Don't think you can't do it. Um, it's, it's too easy. It truly is too easy. If I could do it, anybody can. And I wish I had a lot more time with everybody. And it, if it was up to me, I'd have several webinars a week and I'd do a lot more personal training and help between us all. Um, we never had that luxury and I wish we did. But there's so much that we could show you. There truly is. Um, someone just said the question. Um, builders. Let me, I don't understand that, Mike. What, exactly what are you saying on that one? Can you elaborate a little bit on that one? I like what you're saying. Yeah, but, and maybe it's from what I'm saying here is just keep using everything that we possibly ha can. I, if I were you, I'd go back to the YouTube channel and go see what we've taught you guys here. Let me see if I can get into the book. Um, this is one, a company out of China that I did. This was actually the first book I made 2,700 bucks on. And I made a flip book and I made a little video and I did something. And I did this all within four days. This was over a year ago. Yeah, this was over a year ago when I first did that one. So it's it's been great. Um, affiliate marketing startup, things like that. Yeah, and uh, you know what, Janet? It's okay. It, it It is going to continue. I just won't be with Scribble to continue. And that's okay. We all come, we all go, and it's good. It's good that there's change. You can't stay in one thing forever. You can't. You will never grow if you if you do that. And like I said, I've done my time with Scribble. I think, you know, and sure I could have taught a lot more and sure sure I could have, you know, done everything. Just for me, I need to be able to continue on and 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 I can't. It's hard for me to go back over the same stuff over and over. I can do it and I can do it for so long. But like I said, I love Scribble. I love Presenter. Presenter just blew my mind. So I'm using Presenter uh, much more than I am using Scribble right now. But Scribble does it all. Scribble has some things that Presenter doesn't have. I'm just at a level right now. I need to use some of the tools over there. Scribble is where I made most of my money and I did it this year. So don't, don't from what I'm saying, I'm not telling you, uh, presenters any better than Scribble. It's just different. 
and some of the things I'm doing some different things over there, presentations that I need to do. Where Scribble, I was able to do, you know, how-to books and things like that, which are huge. That's some of the biggest money out there. It truly is. There is so much money in um, making how-to books. I love how-to books because it's simple, it's fast, and most companies don't know what in the hell they're doing. They truly don't. It's a walkthrough, pretty much. If you follow some of the methods that I've done, you could earn you could earn six figures if you just kind of follow what I did and you went. I don't want to say go door to door, but if you did, you'd, you'd be knocking it out. You'd be getting a lot of clients going because I show you a way how you can do a few pages within a few hours. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can show them just a little bit of a teaser here and there. And they pretty much say, oh, man, that's great. And you could sell them for 300 bucks, you know, 400, 500 bucks easily. I go for, you know, three to five thousand. I mean, I just do because I've been doing it for so long. But if if I was just getting started, I'd sell them for a couple hundred bucks just to get things rolling. I mean, why not just just run with it and make things go. You don't need to um you don't need to go broke sitting there and not making any money. If you haven't made any money yet, my advice is get out there and if you have to do a presentation for a company. If you haven't made any money, just if for practice, like if it's a coffee shop, if it's a restaurant, if it's a little retail store, just get somebody online and they'll say, oh, yeah, I got a website. But the website looks like crap 99 percent of the time. And you can always go in there and give them a cheap little video. It's fast and furious. That looks like it's a million bucks, but it costs you nothing because we have the tools to be able to do it. So there's a lot of things you can do that you don't realize that you can do. Um, I use all my tools. And it looks like I've got a whole studio behind me when actually it's the tools that do most of the work. It's like having a robot that does most of the good stuff for us. So I love that. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, and you can. You can go to YouTube. That's a good point. That's a good point. You can go into YouTube to try to find any niche that you want. You know, you can see what market's selling, this and that. What I do is when I find a niche, or I, if you do something no one else is doing, you make money. I'll repeat that. If you are the first one out of the gate to invent something or write something or do something, you're going to make money. If you copy a niche that someone else is already doing, it's going to be harder because you're competing with so many different people. That's why lately, like with some of my different things that I do, um, some of the biggest money that I've seen is with the eBooks and the how to. Some of the other stuff that I'm doing, like the 3D printing and prototyping, things like that, most people think it's out of their range. You know, I, I you can you can buy a printer for 200 bucks, a 3D printer. It it's it's as easy to run a 3D printer as it is a washing machine, a dishwasher. So it's that easy. And then I just create these products. I show people how to. Um, if people ask me, I say, hey, go here, go here, go there, and just go do it yourself. And um, I got a lot of friends that are actually doing that on the side, prototyping and doing different products. It's not for everybody. It's not because a lot of people think it's too complicated. So but either way, whatever you're doing, you're going to need a cover, a presentation, content. You're going to need that videos and things like that. That's why Scribble and Presenter have been so powerful for me. I go in there and build a whole range of different things to wrap around whatever I'm selling. And I have other tools that I use too, but my tools are pretty um, conditioned for me right now. I mean, I use tools that actually do work and I don't try to go outside the box and do any more that I, I don't need. There's always cool tools coming out, but remember you guys see the emails and they promise you this and they promise you that. Use your tool in the first week. If it doesn't work, get your refund. Just do it. Now, a deal stuff works. So whatever he puts out, if he wrote it, if he wrote it and it's his team, it's going to be a good product. It truly will be a good product. I know that. He's he's done a great job with that. And his team's pretty damn good. I can't say anything bad about his, his programmers and his help and all those people that I've met through the past um, you know, a couple years, they've been wonderful. They've all been really, really stellar, very professional, busy. They're very, very busy. And um, 
it's near impossible to even land with them now. The one thing I do want you guys to understand too is make sure no matter who you got the software from, you have support. Make sure you guys have support. Support is everything. And, and listen, I have to tell you guys, I've really had a great time with many of you. Um, it's gotten personal through the last year. So my heart will always be there for you guys. But you will see me out there somewhere, somehow, some way. Um, you, you know, we'll, we'll all find each other once again. I have to say, if you guys had the correct people helping you out, you're going to do phenomenal. And then eventually, you're going to be that person that's helping other people out. And they're going to love it that they found you. Because a lot of times one person can change whatever you do. Personally, I have, I'm not the best by any means, but I have over 20 years of experience. I've written literally dozens of different software programs and businesses similar to Presenter and Scribble through the years. And we sold them and we made millions of dollars and we helped thousands of thousands of people. And it's been a lot of fun. Nowadays, it's much simpler to put programs together because the software is built in with different, um, how can I say it? You have, you can get plugins and you can build software. You can build your stuff as you go forward. And it's, it's much easier than it used to be, you know, 10 or 15 years ago. And um, it's just something. I do have to tell you, there's some things out there that I see that people are missing that, that you need, that I need to help us organize. And um, you're going to probably see some of that stuff come out because it, it's it's funny. Just when I think I think of something, someone else comes out with it and brings out a nice piece of software that'll really help you out. Don't do too much. Don't try to buy every piece of software out there. Use the stuff that you've got and know what you're doing. If 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 I could write down all the steps for you guys, what you need to get started and limit yourself and then start making some money, that's probably what you need to do. And, and someone just said, what about AI? This is AI in many ways. You know, AI is just a functionality that works within the systems. And it does most, it does a lot of the work for you. AI is, is just robotics within the software. So personally, you know, Scribble's got some AI. Uh, Presenter's got more AI. Uh, you can call anything AI if it automates the platform for you. And, um, you know, it's the nature of the beast. You, we can't get away from AI. It's, gonna, it's going to get more sophisticated as we go forward. I mean, look, you can, now put, you can now put all the voices you want on any presentation you have, and you don't have to do it yourself. You can do that. I mean, that's AI within itself, that you have hundreds of voices to choose from, from all around the world. You can now take a website or anything, you can translate it and send it to anybody in another language. Nobody would have thought of that years ago they would have thought that it was impossible years ago it's not now so whatever you can think of just remember before i leave here tonight the one thing i really want to tell you guys is invent something that no one else has done think outside the box if you're writing a story write something no one else has done if you're a trainer get out there and train on something that you're passionate about that you can talk the talk and no one uh, can can pass you up just be that person and we have a lot of people on, on tonight and we've had in the past that are so good that you should be trainers yourself. You should be doing courses. You should get it out there and do some of the things you're doing. I've learned from you. So I want you guys to all think of that. Don't just stay here in the box. I want you guys to get out there. Like I said, I think I found the Holy Grail in some of the things I'm doing online. Um, We've made a lot of money and we see some of the openings that are happening right now with some of the software out there. And I thank God that a lot of these younger programmers are coming out with software that's good and a lot of it's bad. So it leaves an opening for somebody else to come in and say, hey, we can do it better. And I think that's what Adil did with some of his software. He saw a lot of the crap software out there and he wrote Presenter. Presenter to me is one of those programs that you rarely, rarely see very often. And I keep talking about it, but Presenter is high end. And if you don't have it with Scribble, those two tools will get you a lot further on your with your online business than you guys can ever, ever imagine. Okay, how many pages are 
Okay, how many pages are your books on on average? It depends, Mike. I mean, my my books can go anywhere from 10 to 25 pages on average. Usually for some of these how-to books or these presentations I'm doing for companies. That's usually it. I don't go over that. You don't need to. You're just wasting time. No one wants to get bored. These are geeky books and they're not something that people are going to um they're not going to read. It's only for the company. They're very boring and they're but they, but they make a lot of money. And I like that. That's what it's all about is making cash when you're doing these. I mean, I didn't do these for the passion, um, but there is stuff that I do. Of course, some of the courses and some of the other things that, that I have done and will be doing, of course, the passion is there. And I put a lot more into it. Um, I've been working on stuff for months and it will continue. It will always continue. So everybody, we're getting close to the final hour here. I've enjoyed everybody through the past for the for 2022 and going into 2021. It's been great. And Yvonne, it's been wonderful having you in here. Um, you know, and we appreciate you so much. And Lynn, of course, and Tracy and everybody that's on here. Um, I can't say everybody's name because there's too many people. I do appreciate Mary Ann, I see you out there. And I appreciate you. You've been there for a long time. Um, some of the old timers have been with me forever. Kashiki Shiki from Norway. I appreciate you. Liz, um, Mike, John, Nancy. See people from that have been here for a long time. Like I said, there's so many people I can't say enough about everybody here. But everybody, you're going to be able, you're going to do well. You're going to do great. Wait for a deal's emails. He's going to bring something out that's that's going to be super. I know that guy, and he's going to pop it out here and um, go forward. He truly is. Now, remember, if if you have any problems with support, um, get in there and really and, – and if you have a problem with support in any company that you're doing, hit it hard. That's all I can say because a lot of these companies don't support you. you got to be supported in what you're doing. So if with your software, if you don't have support – you're not going to do very well with that piece of software. So make sure that's your number one priority when you guys are working with any piece of software. Okay, everybody, I think it's time to end this call. Uh, once again, uh, this is Kevin Sipe, and I've had a great time with Scribble, and I want everybody to have a great future and a great life. And we'll see each other again. Many of us will cross paths once again. So get in there. And uh, wait for a deal to send his email. I don't even hear from a deal anymore. So I know the guy is busy. He is certainly busy. Um, oh, and we do have openings in the collaboration book. So if you guys want to get in there and email scribblebookteam at gmail.com and be part of the collaboration, please jump in. Please jump in. Okay. Yeah, we still have openings. So this is great. So everybody... I want you to kick ass, you know, and just just move people out of the way and make sure you're number one. And I'm saying that without an ego. Just do it. Just make it happen. Don't think when you do anything. Just do it. Start talking to people. Think about nobody be around you as competition. That's the wrong thing to do. Reprogram yourself. You're a piece of software. You yourself, just reprogram yourself to, to be the best you can be. So everybody, this is Kevin Sipe out for Scribble. I've had the best time. Uh, go to the YouTube channel. Make sure you guys follow up on the past year's webinars and uh, go forward. I know you're, you're all going to be very successful. So take care. Love you guys. And everybody take care. Good night, everybody.